Tommy, you know, your first 90 minutes as shots gaffer. What are your thoughts after that game? We have one more point on the board than we did when I walked in the building at 1 o'clock this afternoon. So it's a positive. Um, I thought the turnout was great. I thought, obviously, it's a nice day and weather-wise. It was a game of very few chances, if I'm honest with you. Um, and I thought they edged the first half in terms of possession of the ball. But there was nothing really to worry about too much in our, our box. We had a couple of chances in the first half. I thought we started the second half very, very well, and we got a bit of a foothold in it. Um, and to take the take the lead with a with a set piece is always nice because obviously we worked on them. Um, but Tyler's arrived and, and plonked it straight in the back of the net, which is great. Um, but it was obviously if there's a disappointment, it's because because we've gone a, a, in the lead. Everybody's expecting us to go on a win, and of course that's what we try to do. Mm. But they pegged us back, and we had one more really best chance of the game to do, to have uh, to won it in the 88th minute but unfortunately it didn't it didn't happen but we've got to be positive for the lads and with the lads and we've got to stay behind the lads at the end of the day um, I don't know what the other results are and it doesn't really interest me all I know is we've got to keep on striving to try and get points on the board between now and the end of the season and obviously after every game there's less games and we, we take stock in the morning and we go again the classic question when it's a draw is you know is it two points dropped or is it one point gained so what are your thoughts on that one yeah again if you go ahead and then you peg back the general feeling outside of my head is that you've given two points back and I understand that but ultimately it is a point gain because they're in the same or a very similar situation to us albeit not not as their, their situation is more worrying than ours let's say that and so if had they beat us that would have been something where they'd feel you know they've gained the three points on us they would have got a little bit more momentum but you know these lads had a poor their lads had a poor result on Tuesday and there was no way in the world that Mark was going to let them turn out like that again you know um, and they did get a reaction I thought they'd, they'd give their all I thought it was two, two sets of the boys who have given what they've got you know and sometimes in, in football I believe there's, there's effort but there's also intelligent effort and the intelligent effort always beats just hard work and running so well, you mentioned it briefly earlier, but obviously Tyler Corner got our goal from a set piece. Mm -hmm. and is that something you targeted? Obviously, Tyler's got a fair few goals already this season from set pieces. So, is that a weapon in our arsenal that well, you want to exploit? Um, yeah, I mean, like I said to you yesterday, I, I don't really mind who scores the goals. And I know strikers are judged by goals and they want to score goals, and I get that. But ultimately, if someone's in a better position than you to score the goal, then we should take that option and, and secure the goal, like they did for their goal, to be honest with you. So. Yeah, it's obviously something we will work on, or we do work on, um, set play. And we have got decent armoury. We've got some big lads who are, you know, strong aerially. So good ball in from Ollie and a great and a great ball, a great header. So, yeah, we like I said, we take goals however they come. Um, but we just want to try and keep a clean sheet for Luke. Jake Hutchinson obviously unfortunately missed a penalty. It was a brilliant opportunity to give us the lead. How are you going to, you know, get make sure his head doesn't drop too much after that one? Well, I've already had a chat with him on my own and... Um, you know, I'll back him because he had had the uh, the metal to stand up and take it. Take it. You know, it's a it's a big ask. He's a youngish lad and he's he's on loan. So I was a little surprised that one of our own didn't step up to that. And that's something we'll talk about inside. Um, but listen, he ain't going to be judged by me on not scoring a penalty. There are far better players in the world who've played the game than him that have missed the penalty. So you know, it, it, it's frustrating because it was in the 88th minute. It's highly likely it would have been a winner. But it wasn't. But uh, you know, we like I said, we dust ourselves down. We try and put ourselves back together as best we can, and we we go to, to Eastleigh on Monday, looking to try and add to the tally that we've got. Well, we've already mentioned, obviously, the you know hectic schedule of a bank holiday weekend double. Um, it looked like we were kind of forced into free changes with injuries there, and then also seeing Ollie and Ryan, you know, really cramping up at the end there. Mm -hmm. I know they've had their fitness issues this season, so is, is, is that a bit of a worry for you this, this weekend? Not a worry, but it is concern. I have to look deeper than this game to see why that's happening. Um, preparation, um, not just not just this week, last week, and the week before. I'm talking about back in the summer. You know how these lads have been prepared. I don't know. It's not my. That wasn't my job back then. But what I do know is the, the fact that we had so many go down. I don't think there's anybody injured. There's nobody injured. So we've had to take a couple of lads off with cramp, um, and there's a couple more gone down on the with cramp. And I'm not going to say they're not fit enough. I just think the 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 energy used, both mental and physical, does drain you, you know, and they're, they're giving everything. I know they're giving everything. I don't think we've got a cheat in, the, in there, in the dressing room. So, like I said, we have to just have to put our arms around them and give them, give them a bit of support. Um, 
turn them round with a little bit of a flush in the morning and then uh, we'll see how we go for before Monday. But looking ahead to Monday, you, you know, that, that, like you said earlier, that there is positives to take out of this game and, and it is one more point and it is putting us still in a good position compared to, to, to the teams like Yoga as well. Yeah, of course. I mean, like I said, <laughs> every game is different and everybody will have their their guesses is about what, where we will pick points up, where we won't pick points up, and quite generally, they, that's, they usually get it the other way around. You know, there's always at this stage of the season, people who are fighting for their lives will pull out results, and people who think they're safe or, or playing teams further down there, if they don't put their foot on the pedal, they'll they'll get turned over. So from that point of view, I can't not look at this as a positive thing. You know, we we've, we've kept the same distance between ourselves and our opposition today. For all intents and purposes, on paper, where the game isn't played, we shouldn't get anything at Eastley. But we'll be going there trying, firstly, to win it. If we can't win it, we don't want to lose it. Click here for the latest match highlights and click here to subscribe. Are you in with a shot? Look below for more information.